Well, it's a cool and showery morning. Actually, a little bit of rain is not a bad thing, as dry as we were getting. Still a little bit of snow on the north side of the Quonset. Cattle are in the shelter, so I guess they're thinking it's kind of a nasty day out here. And the cats. Here we are. Look out, boy. Yeah, waiting for your cat food, are you? Nobody calving? Nope. Those two black ones are the most likely. And they show no signs. They do like their oat chop. No, we got water. We got water in the trough. Okay. There. Wasn't much. There you go. Fussy, eh? Look at that. And it's pretty slow this spring. And this week on Antiques Farm Show, I dragged home this uh, somewhat vintage floor lamp actually a tri-light base I guess it takes a big a big base bulb and then these three smaller ones well I'll show you them shortly it's uh, kind of a I don't know chrome nickel plated shiny metal of some sort anyway it almost looks as if it should have some type of covers on this part here there's a shade that hangs on the bulb here it's uh, stored elsewhere the base appears to be uh, some type of heavy glass kind of an ornamental old antique i have no idea my best guess it dates to the 1950s but if anybody else has uh, a better idea of the age and uh, information on it hmm, that's odd must have a separate switch for these uh, side lights and the main one there for the tri light anyway i'll show you the uh, the uh, bulbs removed for safe transportation They obviously had some type of a coating on them, which has cracked and deteriorated over the years. There's your tri light, one, two, three hundred watt tri light. So I guess I should install these bulbs just out of curiosity. It'd be interesting to see if it actually works. But close to 18 years of abandonment in uh, an unheated house. There may be some deterioration here in the switches and wiring, but anyway, plug it in here and see what results. And we get nothing. Okay, that does nothing. Oh, we got side lights. Okay, we got two working side lights. 
this is steel wool which is anybody who works with old vehicles and whatnot will know it's just about the greatest thing since sliced bread for cleaning up tarnished or rusted metal See, this actually has a little bit of minor rust pitting starting but I think I can improve on it considerably the base is showing improvement this one's going to be a little tougher the vertical post has all these little grooves in it it's not super bad for rust but there is some minor pitting going on there if I want to put in the time and effort I think I can have it looking pretty decent but for now let's go and have a look at the shade Okay, here we are. Yeah, storage facility, one of them. Brought this little item home yesterday. Hmm. A T. Eaton Company box, which anybody knowing the Canadian history recognized T. Eaton's was one of the uh, the big two in mail order uh, sellers for the probably a century or more I digress here I came here for a, a lampshade so this is our lampshade it's got one little hole in it actually it's a double panel the inner panel is still good it needs a real serious cleanup I don't know I think it's some type of plastic maybe Some of you Ford aficionados are going to notice on that the jail bar grill I got hanging on the door there it had a little custom accessory added to it I had this strip of chrome in my spare parts department I'm looking for a place to use it it doesn't fit any vehicle that I own but I just kind of lightly attached it onto the grill there adds a little bit of a uh, flash to the plain Jane jail bar grill not quite a mercury but it's getting there somehow it seems like there should be something a little extra in here to attach onto this bulb to give it a more solid I mean that is just basically sitting there by gravity and uh, could easily fall off and uh, damage the side lights so anyway if anybody has an idea what is missing on here or if in fact it's even the right shade for the lamp well, I spent about an hour here with steel wool getting a pretty nice shine on the on the uh, metal anyway cleaned up the glass at the bottom it's going to take a little more work to finish off but it's uh, I think it's a huge improvement on what it was so I took a still shot here for the thumbnail and call it good